Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome to another Nerdy Nummies. Today we're going to be making a super adorable robot cake. His name is Burgle and he's a character from a game that I've been playing lately on Xbox called Grounded. And a big thanks to Obsidian who are the developers of this really fun game and Xbox for sponsoring this video. If you're not familiar with Grounded, it's a really fun game where your character has been shrunken down to a size that's about this big. You explore, build, and try to survive different areas of your backyard, all while being about the size of an ant. The full release of the game is coming out September 27th, but you can play today on Xbox Game Pass or on Steam. Over 10 million people have played so far, with more joining every day. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. The cake that we're gonna be making today is a vanilla cake with raspberry flavored Swiss meringue buttercream, my favorite. Mwah, mwah. And it will look just like Burgle from the game. He's a cute, friendly burger flipping robot who provides you with new recipes, upgrades, and helpful information. The first step to making our robot cake is to make the batter. To make the yummy batter, the first thing that we're gonna do is mix together some of our dry ingredients. Over here in a medium bowl, I've got some flour, salt, and baking powder. Add the salt and the baking powder, and then whisk together until well combined. I'll be posting all of the ingredients and their measurements in the description down below, so if you'd like to follow along at home, you can. Once whisked together, you can just set it right here off to the side. Now we're gonna move over here. Next step, we're gonna cream together our butter butter and sugar. I'm also going to add our extracts, vanilla, and a little bit of almond. I'm going to be adding them to our stand mixture, but you can also use just a large mixing bowl. That's fine too. You're going to add two sticks of butter. Just remember you want it to be room temperature. You don't want it to be cold right out of the refrigerator and you don't want melted butter. Get in there. And our sugar. Ooh, pretty. Add your vanilla extract. Oh, and take a little whiff of it because it's so good. If you were in the video game, it would be a whole swimming pool for you of just vanilla extract. Yum. A little bit of almond extract. Now you're going to mix together on a medium speed until it's light and fluffy like a cloud. This usually takes about six to eight minutes. Now we're ready to add our other ingredients. We're going to add our eggs and we're not going to fully mix them in. We've got four eggs. We're adding the full egg, the yolk, and the white. So add four eggs all together bloop, bloop, bloop. and now just do a partial mix because we really don't want to over mix the cake batter and good just a few seconds just like that now I'm gonna scrape down the sides really quick now that we've added our eggs we're gonna alternate adding our dry ingredients and our milk so we're gonna add a third of the dry ingredients mix it up half the milk mix it up second third of the dry ingredients mix it up second half of the milk mix it up and then the final third of flour oh my gosh oh my <laughs> gosh who hired me me. Once your batter is mixed, you can scoop it into your pans like I've done over here. Just make sure your pans are greased and lined. I like to line the bottom with a little piece of parchment paper. Over here, I have two small round pans. These are five inch rounds and inside of them, they have got one cup of batter each. All of the excess batter goes into a sheet pan like so. And with the sheet pan, same as these, it's greased and lined with a piece of parchment paper at the bottom. And then I used a spatula just to smooth it out. Try to get it as flat as possible. We're trying to get a really nice, beautiful, evenly cooked layer here. Now you're going to heat your oven to 325 degrees and bake for about 30 minutes. So while our cakes are baking, I wanted to show you the structural support that we built for the cake. This is the first time that I've ever done this on the channel. Usually when I'm making a teller cake or a tiered cake, I'll use cake dowels, whether they're wood or plastic or even straws for structural support but this cake is gonna jump in the car and actually go to Xbox. So I wanted to be sure that little Burgle did not fall over and topple over. I actually have some footage to show you how I made this, but basically the bottom is a wood board for support and then there is a metal dowel that goes through. It was kind of fun 
building this. It kind of reminds me when you're building in the game, but this is building IRL. That means in real life. Once your cakes have baked, give them plenty of time to cool. As you can see over here, we've got the two small round cakes. I've leveled the top. They're about an inch tall. And we've got the sheet cake over here. And I cut it into six bigger squares and then cut them in half. Each square was five by five. And then I just cut it down the middle. So we have a bunch of little rectangle cakes over here. Now, I love this. Now, most of you know my favorite part of making a cake is decorating. But today, one of my favorite parts is also building. First step is building Burgle's body. Then in these piping bags, we have some vanilla Swiss buttercream, which is my favorite type of buttercream in the entire world, you guys. I have this recipe in my cookbook, but I'll put a link down below as well. It is so good. And then over here, I've made some raspberry Swiss buttercream, but we're going to be calling it, based on one of the drinks in the video game, armed raspberry puncho buttercream. <laughs> It's just perfect, you guys. All right, let's get going. Let's build a cake. So I'm just gonna pipe a little bit, a thin layer, and smooth it out with a spatula. Oh, look at that, you guys. The biggest challenge right now is to not eat your cake. Then take two rectangles and place them on each side. And then you're really gonna press them together. And it's going to, you know, bend right here, and that's okay. Now we're just gonna keep stacking the cake in layers till we get to the top. The torso, the middle is assembled here, and we're gonna do a little bit of carving before we move on to the top. Whoop, 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 whoop. And don't cut through the cake for it. That's another thing. I'm gonna take this excess cake, I'm gonna put it in a little bowl off to the side. This is a little scrap bowl. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So now we can move to the head. Just like the torso, we're gonna add a little bit of raspberry buttercream to the cake plate. So just add a little bit, spread it nice and thin with your offset spatula. Now we've got our two small round cakes and you'll just take a straw, poke a hole right in the middle, put it all the way through, and then you're just gonna place it on one top. Just like before, we're gonna layer, so add some more icing, and the second cake. Second cake, we're gonna do the same thing. Take your straw, poke a little hole in the middle, boop, place it on top. Just like before, we're gonna carve the top cake, but this time, just carving this edge. I've placed the whole cake on a turntable to make it a little bit easier as we're going around, and we're just gonna gently, boop, 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 carve all the way around. Once the cake is assembled and carved, we're gonna cover the entire thing with our Swiss buttercream. We're gonna start at the base here. Just give it a generous amount. Then we're gonna zigzag all the way up. Once your cake is iced, you can take an offset spatula, even a cake scraper to make everything really smooth. It's in the fridge chilling right now, and in front of me, we're just getting our fondant ready. So I've got some light gray fondant that I've cut into these rectangular panels right here. These are gonna go on each side of the cake to make the robot's body, and these will go on the top. Cut a little notch on each side. I really love this technique because you can get really clean lines, which is perfect for this cake because Virgil's a robot. He's a straight edge. He's got really clean lines. I don't know if he's a straight edge though because he's got three buttons I saw. It has flip, cook, I'm like relatable, and then he has a kill button. So I'm like, oh, this is looking good. So now I'm gonna set these off to the side, go get the cake, and assemble our fondant. All right, here's our cake. It's nice and chilled and extra smooth. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start on the top and work our way down. It's gonna start with this piece and place it on top and now the other and don't worry if there's overhang we can cut off the excess that is normal. My tip with these cakes is to take your small sharp cutting knife or tool whatever you have and cut off the excess the overhang as you go. Now we're gonna actually add the other four panels. So take your paintbrush dip it in a little bit of egg white. We're just gonna put a little bit here up at the top and you don't need to put any on the icing because Swiss buttercream stays a little sticky, which I love. Take one of these panels and you're gonna line up the bottom edge with the bottom of the cake board. And then you're just gonna press it on, on the bottom and the top. Using my fondant smooth, I'm just gonna do a little bit of smoothing and then I'm gonna cut. As 
you can see, we have paneled the whole body of the robot. Look at this, do, do, do. Now I'm gonna pop this in the refrigerator to chill while we make some cute little robot arms. So in front of me in Photoshop, I made this cute little template and I'm gonna have this up online. So if you wanna download it and use it, you can. So basically what I did is I cut out all the little templates. Our robot's hands are gonna be template one and two. Look at this, I lined it up here. So you cut these out out of a dark gray color. So the two colors that we're using, a dark gray fondant and black. After you've cut them out, we're gonna attach them to a wire. The wire that I've got in front of me is a little bit of aluminum wire. It's easy to bend and work with. I've wrapped the top of it, the part that will touch the cake, in food safe plastic wrap. But in general, this is food safe, but I've just done it to be extra careful. Take a little bit of royal icing. This is gonna be our edible glue. We're gonna put it at the top of the hand and a little bit here. Gonna place the wire. Now we're gonna take a little square fondant and just press it onto the back, like so. We're gonna make a little sandwich, a little arts and crafts. And once that dries, it's gonna help hold everything together really well. Then I rolled out a little bit of black fondant just to cover the arm, this wire, up until about here on both sides. And then I put an additional little piece of gray over the top, and I'm gonna do the same over here. As you can see, I added a little bit of royal icing, so it will stick, and let's cover again. These arms just take a little little bit of love, a little bit of work, but it is worth it. Once you've got the arms assembled like so, you really wanna let it dry. Don't pick it up, wiggle it around, let it set and harden. Ooh, here we go. I just popped the cake out of the fridge and I cut a little line all the way across and partially down right in front of the metal dowel, cause that's gonna be, this is the front of the cake. And I just did that to line it up so that I don't have to guess. We're gonna put it in here. We're gonna line it up and then we're gonna press down. This doesn't need to go into the cake, it can sit on top because we're going to cover it, you won't see it. But there you go, oh my gosh, how cute, look at these little robot arms. Now that we got our robot arms, we're gonna build more of this robot. Woo woo, okay. <laughs> Now we're gonna be using rice cereal treats to make the bottom half of the head. There's a lot of reasons why people use rice cereal treats you'll see on TV. It isn't super dense, it's lightweight, and for tricky little spaces like this, it's a little bit easier to mold and shape. I'm just gonna pop them out. I'm gonna flip it upside down, beautiful. Take a sharp cutting knife, don't get your fingers. We're gonna cut it right down the middle in half. Then you're gonna turn them. The rough edge, which was at the top of the bowl, we're gonna cut it, so it's nice and clean like this line. We're gonna do this to each side and just a little bit. We don't wanna take off too much, but just a little, clean it up. All right, and then we need about an inch. There, lining it up. And this piece is gonna go right underneath. But before I do, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now we've got our two pieces of rice cereal treat and I've cut out little, boop, boop, just put little dents right here so I know where the middle is. Now we're gonna add a little bit of icing and put his cute little head together. And a little piping bag, I've just got some royal icing. We're just gonna pipe some on the top and on the inner part right here. Put a little wiggle wiggles. I'm gonna do that to both pieces. Here we go, pick them both up and we're gonna slide them underneath for us together, yes! And now we're just gonna ice all of the rice cereal with our Swiss buttercream. You're gonna fill in all the gaps. Don't worry if there's a few little gaps here and there, you just fill it in with the icing. Once you've covered with a little bit of icing, use your offset spatula and just smooth it out. Next up, we're gonna make some feet for Burgle. Burgle's got some cool feet for a robot. He's got like treads, like a tank. I love it. So this is the end result. This is what we're going for and I'm gonna show you how to get there. So using the same bag, batch of rice cereal treats. I poured some into that little bowl and then I poured the rest into this little tin. All right, so what we're gonna do is pop out your treats and cut them in half. Once you've cut it in half and they're this big, you're gonna round the edges. And how you do this, super easy, just on the counter. You want a nice, clean, flat surface and you just roll, 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 just like that. And it's gonna bend and form to whatever you're putting pressure on it. You also wanna form your treats to be about an inch and a half on all sides. Once these are ready, you're gonna roll out your black fondant and your dark gray fondant. And again, using the template, we're gonna use shape 
17. So you're gonna cut out two black and two of the dark gray. I already did this ahead of time to save a little bit of time because I wanted these to sit out and harden so that I can put them together. Then to make these cool little rings, I used two different cookie cutters. One's a little bit bigger and one's a little bit smaller. So out of the rolled out fondant, you cut out the outside shape and then with the smaller one, you cut out the inside and you'll get these cool rings. And I stuck them right on top using a little bit of royal ice. Using the same royal icing, we're gonna attach these pieces to the sides. So I'm gonna pipe a little bit on the top right here. Just need a little bit. Then we're gonna stick one on, press down, and do that again. Then on the other side, we're gonna attach the two black pieces. Ooh, place it on, press down. Then to get the final result, I rolled out another piece of black fondant and wrapped it all the way around. And for the look of that, you want it to be a little bit wider. The total width is about two inches because you want a little bit of overhang. The overhang is the look of these cute little tread feet. Wrap the fondant all the way around, attach at the bottom because no one will see this, that's okay, and do it for both pieces. And then you'll have two super cute robot tread feet. All right, took our cake out of the the fridge and I added another little detail to his arms. I basically think it's a robot's shoulder on this side and this side. Just take your light gray fondant. I just rolled it out just a little bit. And then you're gonna take a large cookie cutter and just cut out. Oop like so. Remove the excess. Then I'm using a metal 2A tip to make a hole in the middle. So you just press down. Then using your fingers, I'm just gonna smooth out the edges. Then using a sharp cutting knife, you just cut one side, pick it up, and slip it over. And you can use a little bit of royal icing to attach. Let me know in the comments down below, does this look like a little mini donut or a skateboard wheel? And another detail that I added to the cake was putting a ribbon all the way around the cake board. It's a really cool way to make your cake boards look seamless. And I've covered the robot head in the same color fondant. Next up, we're gonna put on our robot's little feet. And they don't need any royal icing because the top of my cake board is covered in fondant. He's really coming together, starting to look like a real robot. Next, we're gonna make a little robot necklace. Well, really, we're just gonna give him a neck. Take a piece of red fondant, roll it out like a little log, like a rope. Just use your hands, keep rolling until you get enough length, and then we're just gonna wrap all the way around. One of my favorite parts about baking is the decorating. Now we're gonna go over a bunch of Burgle's details. I made a bunch of different pieces with fondant and using a bunch of the shapes on the template. <gasps> Let's start with his eyes. Here's his eyes. To make a bunch of these, I rolled out a bunch of different colors of fondant, stacked together and assembled. Most of the things that you see here that are layered, I just use a little bit of water and a small paintbrush to get fondant to stick to fondant. It's basically like fondant glue. If the pieces aren't too heavy. If they're a little heavier, we can use a little royal icing or a little egg white. So I cut out with a circle cookie cutter and two larger metal tips. These three different sizes. We've got a larger red, smaller orange, and an even smaller yellow. And then we've just stacked them like here and attached them to this really cool strip. This is the shape number 15. I'll show you how we did that. Just really easy. Again, you just use a little paintbrush and a little bit of water. Put a little bit on the top. So in case you've never done this before, this is how easy it is. Place on a piece of fondant and then do it again. Take your little paintbrush, put a little bit of water and stack the next piece. And you can let it sit and dry. And then when it's ready, you can just stick it on top of that little band for his eyes. For Burgle's little, it looks like an antenna and it also looks like a crank. But we used a little piece of aluminum wire again and then just wrapped a little piece of green fondant over the top and it looks perfect. It looks just like it. My favorite part is the mustache. It's the number three template piece. And then cut these thin strips of the beautiful colors that you see on top using a little bit of water. I just attach them all on the top to let them dry. So then you've got this really cute, look at this, retro, looks like a 70s mustache. And a bunch of these gray pieces that I cut out are kind of like those details in the body of the robot that you'll see all over. I'm putting the pieces on top top to create some dimension there. For his little reader screen where it says flip, cook, or kill, we cut out number 12 shape 
And then using some royal icing, we've got blue, pink, and gray piped on the little details of the screen. Over here, these gray pieces of fondant rolled it out nice and thin, let it set, and I used these templates as well. So now that we've got all the fondant, <gasps> it's my favorite time. It is time to take all these cute little decorations, put them on the cake, and make Burgle come to life. We're gonna start with the eyes because there's the windows to the soul. I'm gonna be using a little bit of royal icing to attach this just because the eyes and the mustache are a little bit heavier. So using just water may not work. Put a little bit on the back. I'm gonna try to line this up best I can. Yeah, that is pretty cute. Look at that, he's come alive. I put this little toothpick in to support the weight of the mustache while it sets and dries. It's a fun little sneaky tip. We're gonna put this cute little stash on. Again, we're gonna be using a little bit of royal icing. And his mustache is basically in his eyes. The picture that I have of it, his mustache goes up so high, it's pretty cute. But that's what he looks like, adorable. I'm gonna hold it there for just a few seconds and I'm gonna allow the toothpick to help. done. Burgle is looking amazing. So many cute details going on here. We even added his little hat. I painted these little features silver using a little bit of luster dust, silver luster dust with a little drop of, you can add alcohol or a little bit of extract, just anything with a little bit of alcohol and paint on the top. But we're going to be doing one more thing. We've never done this before on the channel, but I've been working with a lot of people who work with cakes, specifically fondant cakes for our final step to decorate this cake, we are going to steam the cake. What this does is it gets rid of a lot of the dusty look from the cornstarch or if you've been using powdered sugar, it gets that off and it will make all the gray fondant look a little bit more shiny, a little bit more metallic, which is perfect for this robot. And ta-da! Here is the burgle robot cake that we made today. He turned out so cute and he looks just like the character from the game Grounded. I love his adorable little mustache. And we even put a little antenna on the top. And if you like these kinds of videos, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, it's free, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. And just a reminder, you can play Grounded now on Xbox Game Pass or Steam. The full release is on September 27th. And again, a big thanks to Obsidian, who are the developers of Grounded and Xbox for sponsoring this video. It was so much fun making this cake. He's so adorable. I just can't even. I'm obsessed. All right, thanks again for watching. Okay, now come on, Burgle, I gotta box you up. You're going on a car ride. You're gonna head over to their headquarters and they might eat you. Oh, don't listen to that. Um, I just gotta box you up good. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>